Hello everybody and welcome back to Crowder 90's Road to the FV215B183 Tier 10 British Tank Destroyer. I'm bringing you another game of my UC2 Pounder. I forgot how hard it was to uh, grind on these early, uh, early tiered tanks and I had a phone call or something for the first few minutes of this game. So we'll just zoom this up. We're at two times speed right now. And uh, I still don't, I I did finally unlock the uh, top gun, the six pounder on the UC two pounder, but I'm still using the stock gun in this replay. I think this is the game that allowed me to unlock the top gun. And I just wanted to upload another pro for pro Karofka video just to to show you like what what are these enemies thinking when they just walk in front of your gun one by one. You'll see towards the end they finally get a uh, idea of how to stop me, but before that, it's just uh, you know when you push one by one, you're gonna see what a, uh, a fast-firing, high-penetration gun can do to these low-level tanks. Now this is good. <laughs> you guys are gonna call me a camper. This is just campy gameplay, but uh, I think I unleash a pretty hellish amount of damage for this gun and this tank. And I just enjoyed playing this game. So let's just watch these these people come across this ridge on this road. Here's one of them Hago Japanese tanks. And it's almost like using the Yag Tiger 88. Just keep going to work with your gun. They can't see me. I'm double camoed here. I'm that little bush that I can see through. Well, that's not giving me any camo when I fire. The next hedgerow is giving me plenty of camo. He disappears off the radar. I'm looking again, nothing. Uh, so I see this French tank destroyer coming up. So only get that top of his gun shield, but I was able to hit it once, and I believe later on I do get to hit him again. Maybe not while he's firing this time. We got a Chini. He luckily evades with bullet time my shots and gets taken out by a T-18. This Chihaz was actually not playing a bad game. He's in his tier 3 tank and he's just gonna hide back and forth in between that rock. We're not gonna be able to get a good shot on him. Now I still only have like a 58% crew on this tank so don't expect beautiful aim time. Don't expect you know the reload speed to be this slow if you have a fully upgraded uh, t <laughs> tier 2 tank crew, which I'd be impressed if he did. Oh, here we go. He's back. And I just keep getting my kills taken away from me. I only have one kill right now. And I'm, my, my snapshots don't seem to be working either. Oh, there we go. That's kill number two. Now, I know this guy's poking his butt right behind that rock every once in a while. See? I can even see it, but... But where does that shot go? Just an awful, an awful shot way to the left makes it impossible for me to hit him. Taking a few speculative shots, seeing if he pops out, and he did, he moved back. But I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him. It's just too small of a target, he's moving. But these guys still decide they want to come out in front of my gun. And I don't know where these shots are going, I guess there's a tank, a dead tank in between us. Alright, so that's three kills. But it's not looking very good for our team. You can see we've all kind of turtled up around the base. I'm sure there's one or two tanks over in the 890 line there outside of my radio range. But, uh, that are on our team. But it's not looking great for us. I'll just let it come all the way in. He kills one of our tanks. This is a tier 3, so I feel pretty badass taking him out. He has no idea where I am. And he is gone. Gandalf the Green, 999. Good thing you weren't Gandalf the White. And let's just fast forward, because I think I just sit here for a while. I don't want to go out. I know that if I go out, I've got no armor. I'll die to the first thing that looks my way. Got four kills, almost 700 damage. Just gonna sit here. We're at two times speed now. And yeah, we're getting taken down. By the way, if you could tell, we're not gonna win this game. But, 
do my best here and, and take out as many of them as I can. And there we go. And it's as quick as that. I probably should have relocated, but that's not what was really on my mind. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching part three of the road to the FB 215B183. Uh, I think next time you'll at least see the UC2 Pounder with the upgraded gun, um, if not the Valentine or the Tier 3. So uh, thanks for watching, and you will get to see the after battle report right after uh, my voice cuts out. Thank you very much.